So hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Soji Gray and welcome to another episode of the best Android home screen setup. In this video, I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to recreate this setup. I really love the setup because it has this iOS 14 aesthetics. I like the widget and the icons look amazing. The good thing is that this setup can actually be recreated easily. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. And uh, to start off, you're just going to create a new page. And to do that, you're going to long press the page, this current page, and you're going to click widgets. And then we're going to head down to KWGT. You need to have KWGT Pro installed to be able to do this, by the way. Now we have it here, we're going to long press it and kind of adjust, you know, the canvas that we're going to work with. I think this actually looks cool. Then you're going to click to set up. And we're going to click the new blank page. It is the icon on the top right side, the third, sorry, the second icon on the top right of this whole interface. So once we click that, we have a blank page to work with. We're going to click the plus sign on the top right corner. And then we're going to choose shape. Now we have a square shape by default. So we're going to come down to where the items is and we're going to click shape. And then we're going to change square to rectangle. Then you're going to adjust it to fit almost the whole of the canvas. As you can see, I'm expanding the width and the height. And so, yes, I think this actually works. This looks cool. And then we're going to come to the corners because we want to make some rounded corners and I'm going to make that 50. So there you have it. I'm going to click save and go back to the home screen. And as you can see, we have this here. I do think it's a bit elongated as compared to this. So maybe we're just gonna make it a bit shorter. So I'm gonna go back to shape and I'm gonna adjust the height a bit and then increase the width and I think it works. So now this is what we have now. Now what we're gonna do is add the image. So I'm gonna to go to FX. Now when you come to FX, you're gonna click texture and you're gonna click bitmap. Now, once you click bitmap, it gives you the option to, you know, add an image within the, the space of this, you know, rounded, you know, item. So you're going to click pick image and then we're going to navigate to the image. Now, this is the image I want to choose. And as you can see, it fills the whole shape, which looks pretty cool already. So I'm going to click save and go back to the home screen for you guys to have a look at how it is. And as you can see, we have it right here. It looks amazing, to be honest. Now what we wanna do now is add the, you know, we're gonna add the time. So the time is just gonna live somewhere here. It's pretty simple. To do that, we're gonna click the plus sign, and then we're gonna click text. And as you can see, we have, by default, the, the time uh, icon or the time indicator already. And so we're gonna click text, and then we're gonna click the text here as well. So as you can see, we have it right here in the text preview and the formula editor. So what we're going to do now is click this and then click enter so that we have it, you know, instead of it's being vertical, we have it in, sorry, instead of it being horizontal, we have it in a kind of a vertical, you know, format, which looks good. I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to expand the size of you know, the time indicator. And as you can see, it looks good. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is to change the font. And I think I love this font. It's called Audio Wide Regular. To get this font, what you need to do is click the G sign at the top right. And once you click it, you're gonna search for Audio Wide. And then you click it. So there you have it here. I'm gonna adjust the size. I think I like how it looks. Uh, I'm going to move it to the right side a bit, a bit to the top. And yeah, I think it looks good already. Now, one thing to note is that you need to also adjust the type, right? So you're going to switch that to face width and you're going to adjust that just so that once the time is changing, it's not going to switch, you know, the, the format, right? Because as you can see, if you don't adjust it well, you can have something like this and we don't want that. So we're going to adjust it to, uh, I think, uh, 380 works. I think 380 works. In fact, let me just make it, you know what? Let me reduce it a bit. Yeah, I think this works. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. 
to the edges and I think this works. So I'm gonna click save and go back. And as you can see, this looks pretty darn cool. It looks amazing. And we're going to do some additions. So with this as our reference, we are going to add some other elements to the widget. So instead of audio wide regular, I do think the, the font to choose is days one regular, which is right over here. So once you click that, we have the exact fonts I used in the original one. So as you can see, the same font here, the same thing we have here. Now the next thing to do is adjust the opacity of this uh, text, this time text. So I'm going to go to text, I'm going to come to paint, go to color, and then I'm just going to adjust it a little bit because this is what you're using controlling the opacity or the transparency of the particular color. And I think it looks good. I like this. And so I do think we've sorted this segment out. Now let's move to the side. Let's, let's add the battery capacity indicator and you know the, the shape that houses the battery capacity. I'm going to click add. I'm going to add shape and as usual we have square. I'm going to change that to rectangle and I'm going to adjust the width adjust the height and I think this works and then we're just going to change the shape we're going to change the corners a bit I think this looks good and now we're going to come to position sorry and try to move it to the top so now with our reference widget we can see that this is actually black so we're going to have the black color I'm going to click save I'm going to come to paint and I'm going to choose black and as you can see we have the black color right at the top now the next thing we're going to add is the battery capacity so with that we're going to add text we're going to edit the text and so we're going to just delete all of this because we don't want the time we want the battery uh, indicator so as you can see here we have bi that's battery info it, it has a lot of you know information that we would need so we see battery level at the first option we click that and as you can see we have the battery uh, uh, percentage remaining battery percentage uh, indicated over there so I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna make this a little bit big so that you can see it so there we have it let me just change the font to Montserrat I like this and so I'm gonna move to position and I'm gonna move it right to the top as you can see, it's pretty simple. You just need to have a little bit of patience and you're good to go. And the next thing we're going to do is maybe adjust the width because we want it to fill that particular space when it is 100%. So we're gonna adjust a bit and we're gonna align it to the center. And I think it looks good. So I'm gonna click save. We're going to go back and compare it to the other one. Now, as you can see, this is also a little bit faded, but if you like, you can leave it as full color. As you can see here, I like it at full color now, <laughs> surprisingly. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, the next thing we're going to do is design the text at the bottom. You can see we have the date and we have the date. So we have Friday and we have September 25th. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click it and then we're going to add some new elements. So I'm going to add text and we have the text here. Come down, edit text and I'm going to clean this. So now what we're going to do is look for the date format and we have it here. And so we are looking for just the day. So we have Friday being the day, we click OK. And we have Friday here. Let me just make it a little bit bigger. So we have Friday here. I'm going to change the font to, hmm, what font am I going to choose? I want something very slender. I want something slender to be honest. Let me just see. Okay, so I think uh, Roboto Black works. Roboto Black works. Let me choose Condense because I just want it a little bit slimmer. 
And so I'm going to also change this to fixed width so that I have a fixed width for it. I think this works. And I'm going to adjust it, move it a little bit down. And yeah, works. So next we're going to put the, the date at the bottom. We're going to click plus, text, you know the drill. Go down and then click and edit text. We're going to go to the same DF, which has what we need. And we're going to look for the day and the date. So we have the month name which is September and let's look for the day of the month which is um, here so we click that so as you can see we can see September 25th we want to have a space between that so there are two dollar signs that kind of are together here so what we're going to do is make a space between them and then it solves the issue so we're going to change this to Montserrat because I love Montserrat that font actually looks amazing Where's Montserrat? Um, so I'm going to add Montserrat from the side. So we have Montserrat. I'm going to choose a very, you know, a normal variant. So maybe let me see. I think that's, I think this works. I think this works. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and then I'm going to adjust this to face width and I'm going to adjust the width. I think this looks good and I'm going to move it down. Sorry, I'm going to move it down. Maybe fine tune it a bit. This works. Now what we're going to do now is to change, you know, it's, it's in, uh, we want to make it uppercase because it's in sentence case now. So I'm going to come to filter. I'm going to choose uppercase and click OK. And as you can see, it has changed to uppercase. I'm going to go back and do the same thing to the text at the top. So Friday we have here, I'm going to go down to filter, choose uppercase, click OK. And as you can see, it has changed as well. So let's go back to our home screen and compare it to the original one. So I think it looks pretty good i think it looks pretty good as you can see we have everything almost the same just that with this we have the opacity of the battery remaining battery capacity text to a little bit low and september is a little bit low as well so let's just make september a little bit low so to do that we come to paint again we choose color and then we're going to reduce the opacity or the transparency a little bit and there you have it we have this and it looks amazing this widget is very similar to all these amazing iOS 14 widgets on the market. And I think if you're on Android, you don't have to lose out on such beauty on your home screen. Now this widget, as you see, it's this way has some tricks up its sleeve. So if you click the widgets and you click globals, you have the option to switch to dark mode or another color. And you know, it's like you're having like multiple widgets on one display so multiple widgets on one display it looks great so i'm going to show you how to do that as well so to have this kind of two widgets set up you're going to create something new so we're going to add now it's called an overlap group so we're going to add that and we're going to drag it to the top so we're going to have the overlap overlap sorry we're going to have the overlap group here and I'm gonna copy this. In fact, let me just cut it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste it here. So as you can see, we have it here. I'm gonna click OK. So once we come here, it's not here anymore because we cut it and we pasted it. Now I'm gonna also make a copy of the overlap group and click paste. So now we have, sorry, so now we have one at the bottom. You're gonna drag it to the top. So we have two here. So what I'm going to do now is to change their names. So I'm going to change this one. I'm going to name it day. And I'm going to choose the second one and name it night. Good. 
So we have day and we have night. So what I'm going to do next is going to go to the night side, go to shape, and I'm going to come to FX, right? So we're going to change this image to something else. Now, as you can see, I've already designed this new one to grayscale. It's just the same thing, but you know, it's been desaturated, basically. I'm going to click OK. And so we have two different, you know, looks now. So now what we're going to do next is to go to globals and click the plus sign and you're going to add a new global title and this should be checkbox and with the color we're going to come to sorry not the color we're going to click type and we're going to choose on or off switch and we're going to click ok so now we have a switch here that we can use so to make this checkbox work we need to impute some formulas so we're going to go back to the side I'm going to click the day overlap um, option. I'm going to come to layer, go down to opacity, and I'm going to tick. You see, there's a there's a checkbox here. I'm going to tick it, and I'm going to click the calculator sign. And so we have the calculator sign here now. I'm going to click the calculator sign, and the formula we're actually going to input is a pretty long one. So I think what I'm going to do. Oops, I'm trying to copy. Oh, sorry. So I'm trying to copy. Let me move to the Samsung keyboard because I think that one is easier to copy from. Sorry, let me just copy from the side because it's pretty convenient. So this is what we are looking for. I'm gonna copy that and so I'm going to copy it and paste it here. So now this is the formula you need to paste once you get to this stage. We're going to click OK and we're going to click Save. Now that is for day. Let's move to night. So sorry. So you're going to come back to night, click night and we're going to go to layer and navigate to opacity. So you're going to click the checkbox the calculator sign the sign is going to move here we're going to click it and we're going to put paste sorry we're going to paste the same formula um, sorry we're going to paste the formula so now that we've pasted it we have uh, a variable 100 here and 0 here we're going to swap both so we're going to make the 100 0 and we're going to make the 0 100 so now that we have this we are going to click OK and click the save sign and as you can see it's switched automatically so now you're going to go back to globals and we're going to turn this off and as you can see once you turn it off we have dark mode if you turn it on we have you know the day mode so this is a pretty quick way to have two uh, widgets and one setup basically and as you can see we have it here looking all amazing and if we want the dark mode, we just come to globals, turn it off, and we have it in dark mode. Pretty cool and pretty simple. It might look very complicated, but if you follow the steps gradually uh, based on this video, I guarantee that you can be able to recreate this. So now the next step you're gonna go to is designing icons. Now, when you're using lawn chair, it's pretty simple to design an icon for any app at all. I know that with the new iOS 14, you can easily change the look of any app, which is great. But if you're on Android, don't be sad. You don't have to switch to an iPhone. You can do the same thing on your Android device. So let me just add four icons. I'm going to add um, audio mark, right? And I'm going to add Apple Music. And I'm going to add background eraser and I'm going to add Bixby and probably I'm going to add Asphalt 9 amazing game so now that we have these five icons you're going to try and design an icon for each of them I've already done some designs but let's just do something quickly for these five icons so I'm going to open up Canva 
because Canva is kind of my go-to app for basically everything. I did talk about it in a previous video, so if you do want to check it, you can easily do so. So as you can see, this is kind of like a template I've been working with for other icons. Uh, let's check our first app, which is AudioMark. So AudioMark is basically a music app. So let's say I just want to make, you know, a music icon. I'm going to click illustration and I'm going to type music, right? And then it's going to give me some options of icons I can choose from. And I think I like, let's just keep it simple. I think I like this. So I'm going to choose this. I already have some layer I already have some layers I do not want so I'm just going to delete them delete this delete this delete this so now I just have basically a blank canvas to work with so I can change the color let me just make it white and let me make the music logo kind of red and I'm going to click save so now that we have it we're going to come to audio mark long press it click the edit icon and we click this icon now as you can see you can change the icon based on the you know the icon packs i have but then you have an option here called open photos so you're going to click open photos and as you can see we have our icon here and the first most important thing you need to do is click or tick import adaptive icon so once you import adaptive icon and you click OK, you're going to have this iOS-like icon as you can see here. Now, how did we come to this point? To be able to do this, you're going to long press your launcher launcher, the home screen, and then you're going to go to home settings. Now, when we go to home settings, you're going to come to theme. And with theme, you can see we have icon shape. Now with the icon shape, we have circle, square, rounded square, and that is what I chose. So once you choose rounded square, anytime you are editing an icon and you tick the box, it is going to have that shape. So let's quickly do the others based on, you know, the, based on the other icons I've already done. Now I've shown you how to do this so you can easily download Canva and do that. All you need to do is just long press the icon, click the pencil sign or the edit sign and tap the icon and we're going to click open photos. So then we can look through and choose from what we've already created. So I think this looks cool. Remember, click import adaptive icon and click OK. And as you can see, it's already changed. we are going to do the same thing to background eraser. You long press it, customize, click the icon, open photos and we're going to choose a random icon at this point because you guys get the picture right okay let's do the last one open photos and you know simple so that is how come i was able to come up with these amazing looking icons very very you know unique to what i like and this is not like any other icon pack on the Play Store that numerous people can, you know, download and use. This is very unique to my personality and I just love the setup. I also love the fact that I can actually switch modes when I just feel like or when it's day or night, which is pretty cool. So this is how to actually recreate this. I hope you guys found this video very helpful. I'm going to leave this, you know, widgets down in the description below just in case you don't want to go through the hassle and bustle and the stress of recreating this you can actually import mine into your kwgt app and run it to do that you actually need to download it and you need to have kwgt pro i'm going to be leaving the instructions down in the description so that you can follow also the formula i used in helping the checkbox switch um switch modes is going to be in the description section as well so that you can easily copy it if you do have any you know issues at all i'll be in the comment section to help you and i hope you enjoy this video i go by the name soji gray if you love this video make sure to hit, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't i'll catch you guys in the next one stay blessed <laughs>